uh, Fern Chen, and uh, this is my first time at the, this event. Thank you so much for having me. So the person who asked me to come today told me that the top uh, texted me that the topic is mother space hood. So I was like, oh, very interesting. Not motherhood, but like mother. Could. And it helped, it made me think a lot about not just mums, but places like neighbourhoods, um, homelands. You know, motherland is a very common word that we use. Um, and uh, because today uh, it's by the migrant workers of Singapore, and so I, I, it made me think a lot about my family's own migrant origins, because uh, I'm. Chinese ethnically, so my grandfather came from China to Singapore many, 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 many decades ago. Um, and uh, it just made me think a lot about him. I never knew him. All I have are my mother's stories about him. So I actually wrote two poems about my grandfather based on um, my mother's idea of him. So the first poem is called South China Sea and I wrote it as part of the Sea Po Rai Mo uh, month. Okay, so South China Sea. When it was time to get off the boat, I didn't look back at first. Of the many boats, who could tell which had carried me away? In the middle of every night, my heart still falls and goes on sailing home. So that's the first poem. Um, he came here on a boat with three brothers to escape um, the uh, wartime situation in China. Yeah. So um, he didn't really have anything when he came here also. Uh, and he left his mom behind in their old village. So the second poem is also from his perspective and it's called Mother. I will never see you again. I opened my eyes this morning and the last of the light was gone. Mother, my baby daughter is eight months old. Hers is the last new face I will ever see. When I left, mother, the fishing nets waved until I could see them no more. I will never again know the sea and you standing stone still on that shore. Thank you. Mm -hmm.